my dear students for this semester i am going to handle biotechnology part of paper 6 for fifth semester bangalore central university welcome to my today's class today we shall have a discussion regarding introduction to recombinant dna technology or popularly called rdt if you want to have a overview of major steps involved you have to go about like this basically recombinant technology dna technology is a technology which involves lot of techniques to be learned but before knowing all techniques in detail and the procedures in detail it is better to have a bird eye view regarding the entire technology how do we define recombinant dna technology basically it is a methodology where biological peculiarities of bacteria phages and viruses and animal cells then structural peculiarities of plasmid dna phage dna viral dna and functional peculiarities of many a type of nucleic acid modifying enzymes are exploited for the genetic manipulation of organisms from the definition you can know that basically it involves genetic manipulation of an organism for the benefit and welfare of humans to do this genetic manipulation what all you are going to do first thing you have to exploit the biological peculiarities of bacteria phages and viruses and so also animal cells then secondly you have to exploit structural peculiarities of plasmid dna phage dna viral dna then thirdly you have to exploit functional peculiarities of many a types of nucleic acid modifying enzymes so by doing all this your basic aim is to finally manipulate the genetic constitution of an organism so as to have a different organism with special properties this is what exactly is done in recombinant dna technology this technology whatever be the case involves basic steps which we are going to learn today and later each step will be learnt in detail what are the steps the entire procedure of rdt may be classified into the following five steps for our convenience in description and on the basis of the chief activity performed number 1 isolation and identification of desired gene or dna fragment to be cloned so you have to isolate the genome and if there are so many genes in that you will be aiming to identify and isolate a particular gene which needs to be cloned by now we must be knowing that recombinant dna technology was earlier called gene cloning okay so you will isolate the genome in that total sum of geno genes you will identify a particular gene of your choice and isolate it this is the first step so that your gene to be clo cloned is ready second step insertion of this isolated gene in a suitable vector i'll tell you in next coming classes what exactly the vectors and how they are designed how they are utilized for this purpose right now you just remember once you identify and isolate the desired gene you are going to insert it in a suitable vector and all this is being shown in the diagram below and then thirdly this vector 
which carries the gene of your choice is introduced into a suitable organism called the host called the host and this process is known as transformation and once the you are sure that you have inserted the vector into the host all host cells wouldn't have taken the gene of your choice so so what you have to do is you have to screen and select the transformed host cells then once the screening is over you will select those particular host cells which carry the gene of your choice and then you have to multiply or express uh, or you can express the gene or you can integration integrate it followed by expression of the introduced gene in the host so whether you multiply or express it or integrate it depends upon your purpose of work what all i have told you Isola identification and isolation of desired gene then insertion of isolated gene into a suitable vector then introduction of this vector into a suitable organism or the host and selection of the transformed host cells and further multiplication or expression or integration depending upon your purpose so these are the basic steps which are involved in a recombinant dna technology experiment same steps i have put it in a schematic diagram form here is the donor cell where you have extracted the genome there is a particular protocol for that and when this donor cell dna needs to be fragmented there are again different methods either by mechanical sharing or by the use of restriction endonucleases which i am going to teach you in the next class finally you will get random dna fragments and one of the fragments may contain contains the gene of your choice on the other hand you have the vector dna again i am going to teach about vectors in detail in next coming classes on one side you have vector dna ready on the other side you have dna fragment random dna fragments and both of them are joined joining this dna fragment to the vector this can be done by either ligating cohesivans or ligating plantains or homopolymer tailing these are all basic technologies which you need to learn in detail in this class i am just giving the overall picture bird's eye view so as to what exactly is done in recombinant dna technology experiments then you will get the dna fragment of your choice being ligated with the vector and then so when you link the cohesive ends finally you will get a recombinant dna molecule your recombinant vector or recombinant dna molecule is ready and this needs to be introduced into the recombinant molecule in the host cell in that is introduction of the recombinant molecule into the host cell this is the next step and the process is called transformation here we have a bacterial cell and uh, which serves as the host and uh, your vector containing the dna of your choice is put it into this host cell and uh, later you will select those bacterial cells which have taken the vectors containing the dna of your choice then next step is selection which can be done either by nucleic acid hybridization or direct phenotypic selection or immunological methods or hybrid arrest translation and hybrid release translation so these are the basic steps involved in any recombinant dna technology so students right now just remember the basic steps and the definition do try to learn 
about the biology of bacteria, phages and viruses and then do try to understand about plasmids, then viral DNA structures, phage DNA structures. Do try to understand about peculiar nucleic acid modifying enzymes like restriction endonucleases, DNA ligases, alkaline phosphatases, etc. And then just have a brief idea like this regarding what exactly is being done in recombinant DNA technology. In due course of time, I am going to teach about the requirements and how exactly it is done and how exactly the technology is technology finds applications in different areas thank you so much for your patient listening study well stay blessed